Welcome back everybody again to a brand new episode of Pine Outdoors. Today here in Oklahoma we've got a beautiful spring day, 70 something degrees and we've got a lot of rain coming down right now. It's beautiful to me how God makes everything work together. You know the water comes up, the fish are able to spawn in the shallow, the deep, the average zones, all the stuff, how all of it works together. It just it never ceases to amaze me. Today we're going to use the mini shooting star. We've got an order for 3,000 hot watermelon soft plastic baits. I want to show you guys if we fill both sides of the machine to full capacity. So that's three 32 fluid ounce cups. So 96 fluid ounces on each side of the machine just how far we can get. As you guys can see, since I leave my plastic in the cup from the last batch, you don't get quite as much volume especially i didn't scrape all the stuff on the inside but this is going to be pretty close we could go a little bit further um the last time i did fill it all the way to the top and whenever you put the stirrer motor in it'll come up here over the top so you want to make sure to not go quite that high but this is still going to be enough for 3000 i can i can almost guarantee you that If you guys are interested in purchasing either of these pigments, you can go to baitplastics.com, enter in promo code PINEOUTDOORS, 5% off all lowercase off to get 5% off color, glitter, and plastisol. When I started making plastics, I liked using the powders, but you have to use an immersion blender and degas it, and it's a whole process. But Bait Plastics has made it super easy for you to be able to get those hot colors. So we've started at about 9 o'clock, it's 9.10, I think we've done 1,200 baits so far in part of the injection process and we can't not count the amount of time it took to cook. It took about 28 minutes, um, which afforded me to be able to do a lot of other stuff during that time, so it's really not that inconvenient. It would be nice to cook the plastic faster, like the big boys, they got those machines that heats it up to 350 instantly boy y'all don't know how good taz is to me people would be much better off if they would focus on actually truly being successful versus looking successful a lot of the time the guys that's got the rolexes the benzes the fancy colognes the jewelry all that kind of stuff a lot of the times those guys are broke i'm not knocking anybody that's got an 1100 dollars or 1400 dollar car payment whatever it just makes more sense to me instead of taking that 1100 dollars and having a car payment or going to the casino and gambling it off or getting your scratchers you take 1100 dollars a month and you multiply that by 12 and you have 13,200 dollars do you have any idea how many mistakes you could make for 13,200 dollars the point of it is not making the mistakes. We obviously don't want to do that. We want to minimize that to have efficiency. But the point of what I'm getting at is far too many people spend their lives going to the casino, spending the money, having a fancy car to impress people that they never really cared to impress in the first place. And they live a life that's void. And of course, I can already hear the naysayers. Well, I've got to have a car. Well, yeah, you do have to have a car. I've got a couple vans that I've bought. I bought one for $1,500. It's been running strong. Better knock on wood because tomorrow's probably going to break down. I've also got one that I got for $4,500. Both of which are vehicles that I own outright. I have no payment on it. I don't have to carry full coverage insurance. You go and buy these new vehicles on credit. As soon as you drive it off the lot, you just lost money. And then on top of that, by the time you get the thing paid off, it's all used up. It's time to do it again. And that's how the borrower becomes slave to the lender. That was written about a long time ago. So be good stewards of what God's given you. Use your noodle, think about things. What do you truly want in life? The stuff that's here in this world is temporal. It's not gonna last forever. But that doesn't mean that we can't pursue what God's put before us. If you can sit down with a piece of paper and show me how you operated your business last year with a 60 to 90% profit margin, 
I'm impressed. So this will be the 1600 set. So I bought the other machine for $5,250 shipped. It took me eight months to get the machine. Um, it actually took maybe six, six or seven, I think, to get the machine, which I lost all the potential profit from being able to produce during the springtime uh, for the spawn and all that season. So th there, there's a cost there, or very real cost. Um, and I had to send the control head back two different times. And I think each one of those took about a month to get that sorted out. I ordered this machine. This machine took about two months to get here. It was $2,250. I think that's about what it was with everything that I got with it. I think on their website, it's like $1,910 or $1,950. Well, they ship it like in a month and a half or something. Along with that, I have recently bought these cooling plates. The cooling plates, all of them, I got nine of them in a custom size. I think it might have cost me like seven or eight hundred dollars. I can't remember what it was. But if you think about it, $2,250, you're like three thousand dollars in to have the cooling plates, and then you got you know, you gotta have the pump and other stuff, so thirty-five hundred dollars, something like that. Um uh, Plus the molds, the molds, each one of these 170, I have 10 of them. So there's $1,700 in the mold. You could buy all the molds, the cooling plates and the shooting star in a quarter of the time that it takes to buy the big machine, which really isn't that big. It only has two 32 fluid ounce pots. This has two 96 fluid ounce pots and this is their small model. They even have a model that's bigger than this. It's a large shooting star. So why would you not go with this system? Okay, so that was the 1600 right there. Now we're gonna start on the set for 2000. 15 minutes in. So there you go where that was 2000 of them and we're at 917. Our molds are just now getting to 71 degrees but I have two ice packs in here that are gonna be cooling it down. Okay, this is set 2800. If you're a tackle shop owner, if you're wanting to do private label, whatever the reason may be, please give us a call. I genuinely want to make you money and I want to make money too. I'm looking for business relationships that are going to last. I want to be able to make these plastics, get them in your hand. You have good customers make good steady consistent cash flow because if you're not making money i'm not making money so there even without a manifold we're sitting at 66 degrees and they're still cooling temperature's still falling this side will be quite a bit hotter about two degrees three four something like that but you can't beat that that's after running this huge mound of baits i say huge there's machines that can do twenty thousand of them in one go but for this application, this is great. The molds, I can put my arm on it. It doesn't burn, doesn't hurt. It's just, it's a foolproof system, man. Okay, so there you have it. There's 77 of these. Each one's 40, so that's 3,080 baits that we made. It'd actually be 78. These come out wrong, so I set these over here to the side. Um, and you remember we had about this much space left in the top of the machines because this is the way that I've been doing my plastic. That way I don't have a bunch of remelt left over. I can just remelt my clear plastic and use it in the new batch. So all in all, I'm really impressed. It's been a few minutes after. So 69 degrees, 60, oh, 64 and 65. So the molds are getting cool again, keeping ice in there really impressed with this whole system and the time right now is 9 45 but you got to add the 30 minutes that it took to cook well is actually 28 minutes remember we got the fat guys fishing discount code bait plastics discount code and mf manufacturing is incoming i've been talking to jeff he's got the code we're just waiting to launch it so stay tuned for more don't get discouraged the new colors are coming i had to get this order out today um, I really try to take care of the big orders like this first and foremost, but the little ones are just as important. Thank you guys for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed one.